Hello and welcome to the Case Go podcast number 100. This is Vincent Cavana from Anathema. And this is Bruce Sword from The Pineapple Thief. Together we've been given the honour of presenting the centennial podcast from K-Scope. And for this special edition, there will be a selection of some of the more well-known artists on the label over the past years. Alongside a couple of our own choices and personal stories, we have in connection with these songs and the artists involved. So first up we have the song Anathema. We had previously considered the idea of a track or an album called Anathema, but we're waiting for something that sort of captured the spirit of what we were about. So this song, written by my brother Danny, reflected on our collective experiences and memories and the love and respect that we had for one another. It was also an expression of how we all, but especially Danny, felt about our keyboard player Les's departure. Les is such a huge character, intelligent, hilarious, one of the funniest guys you'll ever meet. And not only was he a great guy to have around, but he was quite an influential presence within the group, especially outside of the music. He'd he'd looked after us for years when we didn't even have a manager. But unfortunately, musically, the partnership had sort of run its course, so we had to go our separate ways. So Danny wrote the song as a kind of tribute and a way to say thanks. And we were grateful that the song was voted Best Anthem at the 2014 Progressive Music Awards, which, given the fact that the word anthem contains most of the letters of Anathema, seemed about right, really. Gave us a purpose sometimes. It gave us a reason and a rhyme. Looking for meaning in song, searching and searching. So
From the album Distant Satellites, they are Anathema, and that is eponymously titled. Obviously, there could not be a case of 100 podcast without some supernatural music from our close personal show business chum, Mr. Stephen Wilson. I've known Stephen since 2006, I think, and uh, he was actually instrumental in getting the Pineapple Thief signed to K-Scope back then, so uh, I'll fill you in about that later on in the podcast. Anyway, from the raven that refused to sing, brackets and other stories, close brackets, let me just tell you a few of the plaudits that this record picked up. Well, one was Album of the Year winner at the 2013 Progressive Music Awards. It was nominated for the same category in the Classic Rock Roll of Honour, and the album charted in a staggering 15 countries. And um, I think that just sums up what K-Scope is all about, what the scene is all about. It's global. This is Stephen Wilson and Drive Home.
That was Stephen Wilson there and Drive Home. Check the incredible video that Jess Cope did for that on the Case Cope channels. Next up from Russia, we have I Am The Morning. Now, about 10 years ago or something, they were at one of our gigs in St. Petersburg and near the front, people started getting a bit enthusiastic as you do. And Mariana was getting a bit crushed against the barrier, so Danny stopped playing and asked security to pull her out so she could watch the rest of the gig in safety, which was cool of them, I thought. Like so, Anyway, years later, it turns out we're on the same label and playing gigs together, so that's a cool way for it all to turn out. I saw them with the full band for the first time at last year's Midsummer Prog Festival in the Netherlands. I thought they were great. Boss musicians, especially Gleb on piano, real virtuoso. Uh, Very nice people as well, I thought. So anyway, I was pleased to see them pick up the 2016 Progressive Music Award for Album of the Year for Lighthouse. So let's hear the title track, shall we? This is Gleb Kolyadin and Mariana Sakina, collectively I'm the Morning, featuring Case Goat recording artist Marius Duda on extra vocals. This is Lighthouse.
Man in the Morning, with the wonderful Marius from Riverside, that was Lighthouse. Speaking of collaborative efforts, I've been really enjoying the partnership between Paul Draper, once of Chart Toppers Manson, and Catherine Ann Davis, occasional Manic Street Preachers duoist and Simple Minds keyboardist. Both have helped each other out on K-Scope debuts, so let's spin a track from Catherine's, of course recording as the anchoress. This is from the 2016 album Confessions of a Romance Novelist, which, by the way, was named amongst the Guardian's Critics Albums of the Year, was HMV's Welsh Album of the Year, and won Best Newcomer at the Progressive Music Awards. Featuring Paul Draper on vocals, this is You and Only You. Two boss singers there. That was the anchorus, You and Only You, featuring Paul Draper. For years now, I've been following certain labels as a touchstone for who to check out next. For instance, when I first heard Aphex Twin, I followed everything Warp Records were putting out and got into Boards of Canada, Square Pusher, and Pivot and that. 
A similar story with Constellation Records. After getting into Godspeed You Black Emperor, that turned me on to Frankie Sparrow, Colin Stetson, the Silver Mount Zion, and loads of other talented Canadians. And um, since about 2009, I suppose it is, um, I've been proud to be on a label that I see in a similar way. K-Scope, in my opinion, is a benchmark for loads of cool music. They have great taste. They're extremely supportive. They allow their artists full freedom and they have a great respect for the physical package, which is increasingly undervalued in this day and age. So basically, in my opinion, if something comes out on K-Scope, you're sure not only is it good music, but it will look great in any record collection too. So big ups to everyone involved. So, on to my free play then, and for this, I'm going back to the first track I heard by one of the first bands I heard on the label back in early 2010, I think it was. North Atlantic Oscillation are a phenomenal band, and this is Drawing Maps from Memory. That was Drawing Maps from Memory by North Atlantic Oscillation from their debut album, Grappling Hooks. So, it's my free play, and obviously not an easy choice, but I thought I'd let myself get wrapped up in a bit of nostalgia, and I went back to when I first went up to see the guys at K-Scope, and they took me to a Blackfield show, and I remember this song vividly. The opening chords are just so beautiful. This is A Thousand People by Blackfield. Oh, yeah. 
In this moment, I want to die And a thousand people smile They're smiling at me But I want to die In this moment, I want to die No way to understand Why I've become Some people can take a blow And they won't ever drop But I want to die In this moment I want to die She will tell me she loves me But she won't ever stop Some people yell, they're shouting my name, but I want to die in this moment. I want to die. They are Blackfield. Billy Reeves here, just interjecting at this point, if I may. The Progressive Music Awards are on the way and Prog Magazine have asked the fans to vote in many of the categories. K-Scope artists are after your votes in the following categories. Video of the year nominated are Gaspacho for Exit Suite, Tesseract for King, White Moth, a Black Butterfly for Evelyn. In the International Band Stroke Artist category, Gleb Kolyadin and Tangerine Dream. Album of the Year, three K-Scope nominees, Paul Draper for Spooky Action, Gleb Kolyadin for his debut solo album and Quantum Gate by Tangerine Dream. In the UK Band or Artist category, Tesseract are nominated. Voting closes at midnight GMT on August the 24th. Loudersound.com forward slash prog. Tar once again in advance. As ever, thanks for joining me, Billy Reeves, for this episode of the K-Scope podcast, humbled by the music played here and also by the fans and listeners that make a label possible do please keep supporting independent music by subscribing liking and sharing this podcast with your friends perhaps comment below whichever platform you use i'd be grateful 
We'll be marking the 10th anniversary of K-Scope a little bit later on this year. Sign up to the official K-Scope mailing list to get exclusive access to the 10th anniversary celebrations and competitions as they appear as well as new music, tours and videos from the roster. The list is separate, by the way, from the K-Scope store newsletter Uh, which is run by our store, Burning Shed. Uh, So you won't automatically receive the official label mail-out unless you subscribe. So head to the Kscope site to sign up. kscopemusic.com forward slash sign up. Back to Bruce Sword in the studio as we reflect on the very first record released by Kscope, and it was by... The Pineapple Thief. It was 2007 and Stephen Wilson was just about to embark on a tour with Blackfield. Uh, They asked their fans for suggestions on who should open for them on the tour and luckily a load of my fans got in contact and suggested The Pineapple Thief. So Stephen got in contact with me and asked to hear some stuff. So I sent him the latest album I'd done at the time, which was Little Man, and he got back to me and said how much he liked it, but he said, you have got to get on to a decent label. Um, he put in a good word for me at K-Scope, and the rest is history. So, yes, I do owe Stephen a beer. <laughs> 